In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the sound enhancements on a Dell machine. These sound enhancements can be a little bit more tricky than the standard Windows sound enhancements. So we're going to start in the same place. We're going to start in the control panel. And once again, we're going to have view by category selected up the top here so that we can easily get into hardware and sound. Inside hardware and sound, you'll see not only sound, but also right down the bottom, Dell Audio. So before we get into Dell Audio, which is where all of the sound enhancements are on this machine, we are gonna have a quick look at sound so that you can see that sound doesn't actually look the same as it does on a standard Windows machine. So once again, if we look for speakers and headphones, click on that and click properties. Inside here, you see that we only have three tabs. We have general, levels, and advanced. And we don't have an enhancements tab. And nothing in general, or levels, or advanced has anything to do with sound enhancements. That means, as I said before, that all of the sound enhancements are done through the Dell Audio system down here. So now that we've checked this stuff, and we've seen that we can't turn off the sound enhancements this way, we're going to click back out of here and click into Dell Audio. So when you click into Dell Audio, you get this nice menu pop up like this, and you can see at the top you have main, speaker and headphone, microphone, and advanced. So we're gonna be focusing on main and speaker and headphone. In the main, you can see speaker enhancements under Max Audio Pro, and you need to turn that off. Then once you've done that, you do need to go across to speaker and headphone, and also turn it off here. So once you've turned off the main and the speaker and headphone, you should be able to jump back and forth between these two tabs and see that that slider stays in the off position. So when I close out of this Dell Audio menu, this setting should stay in most cases. Some versions of Dell Audio have what we like to call sticky sound enhancements, which means that even when I have clicked this off, when you close out and load back up again, the sound enhancements have turned themselves back on. They've stuck into this on position. So for most Dell machines, once you've turned these switches off yourself and closed out of the Dell audio menu, that's it. Your sound enhancements are off and you should be free to go ahead and download programs to Edison because those sound enhancements won't be in your way anymore. However, in some cases, these sound enhancements stick and you need to, like I said before, turn these off close this menu down, open it back up again, and see if these sound enhancements have turned themselves back on. If they have, then they are sticky sound enhancements, and to get rid of them, you can't just keep turning them off. They will continue to bounce themselves back on again, so you need to completely uninstall the Dell Audio drivers. So there is a second video in this series that will show you the step-by-step -step process of how to uninstall the complete Dell Audio driver and set it back to the Windows driver so that you can very quickly and easily uh, turn off the sound enhancements on your machine. So, like I said, if these enhancements turn off, that's it. Your enhancements are off and you should be free to program Edison. If not, please find that second video in this set of videos and go through the steps there.